Hey everybody, welcome back. We are in our more outdoor kitchen. We are with Artisanal Foods. They are back, they are rebranded. And we wanna know all about it because I'm looking at the setup right now and it looks good. We have Chef John Batista, Chef Jordan Doonwood. Guys, how are you? Doing good, great. doing good, doing great. Ah, you excellent, I'm loving, I'm loving what you brought here already. You're Absolutely. Not gonna, you're not going to go home with it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Keep what you want, man. Definitely. All right, thanks. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's get right to it. Uh, talk about artisanal foods right. and what you're cooking up right now. So uh, artisanal foods has been around for a couple years. Uh, previous owner really set the standard for specialty food, gourmet food. Um, and we found the opportunity to purchase the whole business mm -hmm. and take it over and rebrand it and bring uh, even new life into it. What they did before was amazing and we just want to add to it. Um, what we're trying to focus on is more selection of food in the, in the store. Okay. Um, which we're also trying to merge art and food together because it's in the name, artisanal food. Right. Right, right, right. 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 Okay, and, I see you. There's a little bit of artwork here as yeah, well. That's just, a cool, like, cool concept. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. Okay, so um, what items are you going to sell? You did. You mentioned a little artwork and all that, and, and the finer foods. So, so you can find anywhere from foie gras to wagyu, A5 wagyu, which we'll be actually doing a demonstration today with. Oh, yeah, um, your caviar, right? Your your goat milk, your your quail absolutely. eggs. Essentially, we wanted to brand the store to where you could come in and get your, if you just need the eggs and milk, you can get that. Right. But at the same time, if you want, you're feeling fancy, you can get your foie, you can get your wagyu, you get your caviar, get all your cured meats, your whole fishes. So we're really just trying to brand the store and just brighten it up just to make it a, a nice a nice market to go through. A lot of people couldn't just walk into the store and see wagyu sitting on the shelf. So right. we're offering that the opportunity to do that now, definitely. And it sounds like you guys are, you know, obviously super knowledgeable on all this. And because I might be a little intimidated, as you guys have some fancy stuff. and. You were saying words that, I, like, I'm like, blah, blah. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, you guys have the knowledge, so people shouldn't feel intimidated coming in, right? Right, absolutely. So, okay. the, the premise of the store is for restaurant and home. Okay. So, we sell to all the casinos. We have relationships with ah. all of them. And a lot of these products are what they use in these even fine dining restaurants. But I want to allow the normal chef, the home chef, to come and say, well, you know what? I don't know how to use this. What we in installed into the store is our chefs. Um, there's a group of five of us walking the floors and they can help you oh. with recipes, they can help you with preparing. One of the services that we're offering mm -hmm. is actually cooking the food. So if you get, you know, scallops and or Wagyu beef and I don't want to mess it up, I don't know what to, what to do, but I want to have it for my event, right. I have a chef that can prepare for you in the back. So that's oh. one of the services that we're offering that we're instilling into the store. All right. I mean, you're, I, I, you kind of answered this, but how do, are you different from like another retail store? Just add to that. No, absolutely. So yeah. like I said, we're trying to merge art and food. So for example, we have the world's largest something. I'm not going to tell you. We already contacted Guinness Book of Records. Oh. Um, so once for the, that's for the grand up, opening. Yeah. For the grand opening, we're okay. going to unveil that. Okay. Um, but that's going to be a draw, you know, art wise. We have a mural going up. This artist is amazing. Shout out to Pros. Um, he's a, a street artist, a graffiti artist, a mural artist. He's everything all in one. He's amazing. He's bringing the art community over. Um, a couple things in the artwork on the wall, on the mural, is you know a female chef that you know oh. that's in, in our in our culinary journeys we see a lot of female chefs but they're not revered the way they should be mm -hmm. so right. I wanted to depict that on the wall female chef um, all the people behind the food the fishermen the 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 the, the, um, the seed pickers uh, all these right. all these different things behind the food is what we wanted to depict on that well you guys are excited about this you're making me excited about yes. that so that's yes. the main thing and uh, location location Chopin Easter corner of Chopin Easter we just um, painted the facade so it's blue it's a big blue tower you cannot miss it no okay. way no way you can no miss way it. you can miss it no way you can all miss right it. you guys are going to cook a little bit later with yes, that yes, yes, all right that's sounds good and the information is on your screen okay we'll see you guys in a little bit Hi. thank you jace we are back in the outdoor kitchen with chef john batista and chef jordan dunwood from artisanal foods and they're joining us with quite the spread. All right, so Chef Jordan, we'll start with you. What are you cooking for yeah, us so today? Yeah, so we thought it would be a great opportunity to showcase our A5 Wagyu. And mm. the new Japanese A5 Wagyu is, is kind of very hard to come by right now, but we're able to get it in, so it's a good time just to showcase that. Um, real quick, just when, when seasoning Wagyu, salt and pepper, evenly that's on both it? sides. That's how I like to do it. It's such a fine cut of meat. Right. It's, already, it's so marbly and high in fat content. It's going to do the flavor and everything for you. This is not the I, kind of uh, piece of meat you want to ruin with A1 no, sauce. No, you want to, you, <laughs> and honestly, I wouldn't cook it past medium rare, medium. Honestly, get a different steak if you want medium well. That's just how I, that, I like mine medium rare. To respect it as is, 100%. Okay. But, this, but just to 
some of the things about this meat is raised a lot different. They they put them in different different areas. They keep the sound levels down. They keep their stress levels down. Like if me and him were cows and we weren't getting together, <laughs> they separating us just so we can keep the stress level down and make sure everything is good. So right, you want the meat to stay tender, right? You want to stay tender. You want to stay right. But this is uh, literally oil, salt, and pepper. Don't even need a lot of butter or oil because this already has a high fat okay. content, high marble. As it's going to give you a nice sear. And that's, wow. You can see it straight from there. Yeah, all the marble in there. You're not going to find better. Yeah. It's really good. Yes. Right. Okay. If somebody at home is thinking, okay, low stress cow. There's no way that's real. It's real hunters. They they really try to get a, a clean kill on, yes. on meat so that it's tender meat still. These, these, these cows are taken care of like yeah. no other. Yeah. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, um, can you talk to us, uh, Chef John, maybe about some of your most popular foods and items at Artisanal Foods? So, I mean, traditionally at, at Artisanal Foods, it's been caviar, it's been foie gras, it's been uh, escargot, you know, the high-end items. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the home chefs get you know intimidated by that. Mm -hmm. Can I cook that? Do I know what to do with that? You know, I like to eat it, but I don't know what to do. Um, at the store, we're also incorporating the chefs into the sales program. So uh, you can talk with a chef about a recipe, you can talk to a chef about how to prepare it, how to store it once you cool. prepare it, and even have it prepared in the kitchen. That's one of the services we're providing. Oh, that's happening. amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Well, as someone who dabbles with at-home cooking, I know if I went in and got any of these items right here, my meals are already going to be elevated because these aren't normal items that you can find at your neighborhood grocery store. But exactly. Absolutely. Now they are. Absolutely. Yeah, what we're trying to do, I mean, in, it's in the logo for restaurant and home. So the same items that we offer for the restaurant, I want it to be available for the home chef. And even if you cook all the time or you don't, there's going to be resources there, recipe cards, things of that nature, to really show that you can do a lot of things with food. Food is fun. Food is love. For sure. And you guys do so much more than the store. Talk to me about all the things okay. you guys are doing. We, we uh, one, one thing that we haven't touched on yet, um, we actually have a stage, a stage installed and we're going to start doing classes. So that'll be myself, Chef John, our other chefs will be on stage. We'll, we'll, we'll allow the audience to select what they want us to showcase for them and put in just, uh, just an area to allow people to come in that may not have the the, the, the utensils, the tools yeah. to, to do their food, to prepare it. They're going to come in and learn it. We're going to offer some free classes. We want to go to the outreach of the youth and the boys and girls clubs and everything. Just, just try to give back as much as we can. And we always do that type of thing. So it's just, it's just a nice thing, a nice aspect to bring to the store. Yeah, the beautiful know. thing about this, this store is they're just not a grocery store. There's yeah. much more. Like in the middle of the store, we have a pool table. What grocery store have you walked into and seen something like that? We're trying to incorporate the art with the food because to me, what yeah. we do on a plate is the same thing an artist does with a brush on a canvas. Okay, I love what you guys are doing. We've got the information for artisanal foods up on your screen your screen right now. You guys are going to have to kick me out of your store every night, it sounds like, because yes. I, it's, I, from your spread here and all the stuff you're doing, I'm never leaving. Thank you guys so much for joining Thank us today. You. How's Thank that you. steak? It's, it's, it's ready to come off here in a second. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we love it. Okay, yes. Jason, I'll send it back to you.